Hey, we back. I'm here on Discord, and we're on a particular Discord. In fact, we are on OBB, the Overbot Battle Enthusiasts. Um, and there is a reason for this, because uh, if you are aware, I've been doing a kind of, I guess you could say, a mini series on some uh, Overbot helpers recently. This is like the third video now. If you include Reaction Bot, that's the fourth video, although that was a long time ago. Um, and uh, the next one on the list, uh, well, thank Cav for suggesting the list, um, was Mirrorbot, which is probably the most impressive of the Aerobot helpers, and I certainly didn't want to miss out on making the video on it. However, we ran into a couple of problems. The first one being that Mirrorbot, being as impressive as it is, is a paid bot. You have to pay to have it in your server, or at least to have it be usable in your server. Um, and to be quite frank, I would not use it enough for it to be worth having, uh, so I will not be doing that. Um, now, Cav suggested a couple of ways of getting around this, such as uh, messaging the guy that made it and asking for like a trial so I could show it off. Uh, but then we run into the second problem, which is that it's kind of complicated and I don't really know how it works. Um, I don't really feel qualified to talk about all of Mirbot's features. There are a lot of them and I will go over them. I will go over them briefly in this video. We're going to talk about Mirbot a bit. Um, but what I figured would be a good way to get around these two problems would be to instead talk about the Overbot Battle Enthusiast enthusiast server, which is what we have here. Um, now this is a pretty good server, as you can see it has about 1.6 thousand members on the dot at the moment apparently, although I'm sure if I refresh this is probably update. Um, and uh, this is a server that has Mirbot in, um, probably one of the main servers that has Mirbot in to be quite frank. And uh, it certainly does use it. Uh, so this is a great opportunity to show off some of Mirbot's features as well as give you guys a place where you can use Mirbot without having to pay for it because of course uh, if you're on this server then you can use it here. Um, and there's a lot of other great things about this server. It's all around a very helpful server. If you are looking at getting seriously into a robot battles, I would highly recommend joining because there's a lot of people here that know a lot about the overall battle system, a lot more than I do for sure. Um, and I'm sure they can help you out if you're trying to make some OP team or something like that. Um, the link will be here, as you can see, and I will put it in the description if you fancy joining. Uh, so we're going to start by going over just like what's in the server and what you can do. We'll probably talk about Mirbot um, a bit after that and, and whatever else. Um, so let's just quickly scroll, scroll down the channels for a start. We've obviously got all your, your standard server stuff, uh, announcements, staff stuff. We've got some events that they do. Um, lotteries, of course, all of this is based off Overbot, so there's going to be like a, a money lotteries and stuff like that, I assume. We've got particular channels for particular people. They do giveaways, uh, that's also probably going to be OO money giveaways, uh, if you want to join with that. Um, there's bot stuff, so like you can uh, get help with your team, get help with your weapons, and like I say, this help is going to be particularly good. If I was to recommend anyone uh, to, to help you out with your team, it would be these guys, because they know what they're talking about. Uh, they know all the uh, a lot of people that are top on the streak leaderboard are probably in this server, so there you go. Uh, you've also got quest help, so like if you've got a quest that you well, a quest that you need some help with, you know, like give, you need to be given cookies or something like that, um, potentially you can ask for help there. Um, we of course have your general um, robot channels, bunch of custom channels which I'm going to skip past. Um, We've got uh, the Buying Praise Cookies and Curses uh, channels here, which is what you would expect. I have a channel for this on my server, which you can check out if you like, um, for people that want to sell or buy Praise Cookies and Curses. Um, and uh, that's basically like if you pray for someone X number of times, they will just give you some OO money. If you give someone a cookie, they'll give you some OO money. Uh, and the same applies to curses as well. That's that's kind of what these channels are for. We also have the ticket market. Um, if you're not sure what tickets are in OOBot, then they're basically free uh, Patreon. I mean, they're not free because you still have to buy them. Uh, but you can trade for tickets, as in with OOBot money instead of real money. So if you're not able to go on Patreon, maybe you're, you're under 18, you don't have a credit card, something like that, I don't know, um, then you can still get the Overbot Patreon by having someone else buy it, get a ticket, and then sell you the ticket for some in-game money. Um, I believe uh, the tickets cost around 2 million Overbot currency. Um, they used to cost less, but they went up in price, and then they hit the limit. Um, I'm pretty sure the trade command maxed out at 2 million, so you, you they couldn't push the price up any more than that. I think that's the deal, although I may be wrong on this one. Um, 
so yeah there you go you can buy tickets there uh, now worth noting that on the the ticket channel i did check um you need to be i think it says level 10 yeah there you go uh, i need to be level 10 on me six in the server in order to use that so you might want to be talking here if you want to get involved in that stuff oh base charlotte profile picture nice um <laughs> Uh, so yeah that's a thing uh, but yeah you can buy tickets there finding people to buy tickets from might be difficult in, if you're not in a lot of big OO servers so that's something to mention um, and then there's just other, other stuff down here uh, so yeah there you go there's plenty of stuff in the server the, the, the channels that are probably the most important is the bot help ones um, because these are going to be the channels where you, you get help with your team and you get help with your weapons and all the rest of it, right? Um, and that's what I would particularly recommend the server for, because like I say, the per people here are very good at what they do. Um, but they also have the bots. So now we get on to Mirbot. So if I just search from Mirbot, avoid actually using commands myself, because I don't know what they are. Um, we'll find that it does a lot of helpful stuff that a lot of other helper bots don't do. We're going to be talking about things that we have not talked about in the YouTube videos so far. Uh, so what have we got? Um, some of these have teams and stuff. XP calculator. Now that's that sounds fun. This is what a feature I haven't I haven't seen before. Um, so this is the sort of thing that you can do with spreadsheets. I've talked about spreadsheets in my videos that can do this, um, but here you have it in bot form. Uh, the amount of XP required to level up and how many battles on average uh, it will take to do that. Um, if you assume that your level is reasonably high and you're going up against people with reasonably low levels, like your average battle is probably up against level 10s with no weapons, um, which is why people manage to get hundreds of thousands of streak, uh, then you, you only get 200 XP. Uh, per battle and so you can just divide this number by 200 and it probably gives you this number I would assume uh, you also have to account for streak XP though that's the thing so this is probably accounting for the streak XP which dividing by 200 would not do so yeah there you go um, and then it also says when your current team will reach the same level which is outstanding uh, for this person in question it's level 53 which is a uh, pretty far ahead for these two but of course uh, this is accounting for catch-up xp right you get extra xp on level uh, animals that are a lower level so it even accounts for that so this is uh, by far and away the best xp calculator that i have seen it's better than the spreadsheets and it's a bot so it's easier to use you see what i mean mere bots kind of good um this is the main feature i want to talk about of mere bot actually nice that it cropped up quickly um, this one is absolutely fantastic so Mirbot has uh, programmed into it a simulator basically of a robot battle system um, and using a team that you can set up I'm not going to try and explain how you set up a team for, for Mirbot because I honestly don't know um, this is you this is why you join the server and ask you ask the people on here because they will tell you about all of this stuff they will tell you how to do it I'm just letting you know that the features exist so you know you know what you want to be doing with the bot, right? That's that's what I'm here for. Um, but yeah, um, you, you can set up your team and then you can simulate battles against a bunch of meta teams. So it has a, a dagger team and a fish dagger team and an e-staff team and a fish e-staff team. And, and you can read, right? The, the, the list goes on. Uh, and by setting up your team uh, with a certain level, so this person is putting level 60 and level 50, I assume it's level 60 for their team and 50 for the other. It might be the other way around them. Um, and the point is, it'll tell you whether you won or not, basically, right? Um, because, of course, your aim is to win against as many different types of teams as possible. If you are able to win against all of the meta types of teams, then in theory, you get infinite streak, as long as your level is high enough, of course. Um, and so if you can get all of these to be up arrows, that means you win every battle. Now, having them be the equal signs, this means it's a tie. This is also fun because you don't lose your streak for this. What you don't want is these red ones because this means you lost, right? So if you can make a team that has no red arrows and then you get to like, I don't know, level 70 animals or something, you probably win like every battle. And of course, that's going to be kind of difficult because as I've said in my videos in the past, Robot is a, a bit of a rock, paper, scissors. There's always going to be one team that counters yours. Um, but if you can get no red arrows on this uh, this simulator your team is probably pretty good um, assuming that you have the levels for it um, I can't remember how many arrows my team gets on this simulator I have used it before should we go check actually let's go check here we go scrolling through the, the chat history I find my old conversation with Cav you can see my current team that I'm using admittedly it is a little better now because my levels are a bit higher um, and my weapons are all legendary so that's pretty epic but as you can see I'm losing up against a lot of teams my team is shiny I use 
the fabled animals. Uh, we've got boar, frog, and eagle. Um, and that's absolutely fantastic. I love it, uh, but it is not the best team ever. I lose a lot of battles. However, if you then go and look at what uh, the team that I had set up in my second team slot, if we just scroll through this conversation here, you can see it's a lot better. Um, so we've got only four down arrows there and a lot more up arrows. Uh, so this, this, this other team is, is it's much, much better. Um, and this is why Cav is telling me to use it, basically. That's what the point of this conversation was. Um, but yes, there you go. If you can find a team that has, like, all up arrows, you are winning. Um, and I'm sure the guys on this server have got plenty of them that you can try and use as well. Um, you are going to need very high levels, very good weapons, very good animals, all the rest of it in order to do that. Um, but yeah, this is this is my favourite feature of Mir, but I think it's excellent. Um, and you can very quickly find out how good a team is. Um, based off the simulation, which is, which is absolutely wonderful. Moving on, we have some nice lists here of passives and weapons, the IDs of all of them as well. Um, now, these are the kind of things that you can find in um, kind of images, I guess you would call them, the little help images. Now, we talked about Neon Util recently, which had an option for viewing those spreadsheets via command, which was absolutely wonderful, and I love that. Um, and the spreadsheets are, to be honest, more helpful than this, I think, because this just gives the list, although I'm sure Mirbot can show you plenty of other stats on these things as well with different commands. Um, but it is nice to just have a list of all of these things. Uh, you get to see the symbols and you can then look up what each passive and what each weapon does once you have the list. Decide which one you like the best uh, and what you want to aim for, which is pretty nice, especially when re-rolling. If you want to know what passive you should aim for, you can check the list. So that's that's nice. You've got a nice looking feature here. This one's obviously uh, telling you uh, on which turns your weapons are used. Now, this is super relevant in terms of the mana that each weapon costs. Of course, if it costs not so much, uh, then it'll be uh, able to use the uh, weapon all 20 turns, which is what you want. You would like all of these 20 turns to be weapon used. Um, but if not, you're going to want to throw something like Energize onto it, uh, Mana Regen, uh, which is going to increase your mana as time goes on, which is why you get these weapon not used and then weapon used again. Uh, that's the recharge happening with the the, pa with the weapon passive. Um, so then you get the weapon used again. Uh, now with things like Spirit Staffs and Shields, um, you're going to want to be using them as, as much as you can. Um, so having that mana regen, if it is necessary, uh, is very important. Whereas something like a, an attacking weapon, you can probably throw um, mana tap on there, which is going to give you more than enough um, mana to use the weapon for every turn. Uh, but yeah, your aim is to get it used as long as possible. Now, of course, if you have a team that's going to um, either kill its op opponent or die before, like, turn 8, then it's not so necessary uh, whether the weapon is used after that or not, because your, your team has either won or lost by that point already. Uh, so it's not necessary to make sure that all your weapons last until turn 20. Um, but if you want to do that, there's, there's another Another nice feature that we can look at for that. Here's another one that I've not seen before in any other bot, a Gamble Helper. Um, I'm not sure how this could help with anything but Blackjack, to be honest. Um, the example we see here is obviously with Blackjack, um, but uh, it's basically just doing some maths here. This is not anything OWOBOT specific. This is just generally percentages with Blackjack. As you can see, uh, the website that it's using to calculate these things is not anything to do with, with OWOBOT. It's just a general Blackjack thing. Um, and this is just going to tell you uh, what the percentage chance is when you hit or stand. So you can see in this situation, we have a uh, almost 80% chance to go over 21 if you hit, um, but almost uh, a little over a 50% chance to win if you stand. So this is the kind of situation where you definitely stand, which it looks like they did, and then they lost, because at the end of the day, blackjack is a game of chance, as with all of these gambling. Uh, now, at the start of a blackjack game, you're going to have a 50% chance to win. In fact, probably slightly less than that, to be honest. I'm not sure. Um, you can probably use Mirbot to find out if you want. Um, but at any rate, uh, this can at least help you play the game a little better. If you don't understand the rules of Blackjack, um, I am I may have explained them in a video before. I may not have done. I'm not going to explain them here. That uh, That's not what we're here for. Um, but uh, you, you, you can look them up online. Like I say, it's not a robot specific. This is Blackjack is just a card game that is played. Um, and this is going to tell you your percentage chance of winning it each time, basically. When you take an action, it's going to update those percentages. So, yeah.
So anyway, there's a lot of features of Mirbot there. Of course, it has a lot of the features that other bots have as well. We see here looking up animals. This is something that you can do with Oodex if you have the animal. But you can also do with things like Reaction Bot even if you don't. So that's pretty cool. Um, it has plenty of features. They are wonderful. I would highly recommend giving the bot bot a check out um, if you do want to get particularly into battles if you're not too fast i would to be honest recommend being not too fast um, because battles don't change a whole lot unless of course you want to go for the battle leaderboards um, and at the end of the day it does mostly come down to levels at the start anyway uh, like as long as you have a team that is reasonable you will do fine on the streak um, in terms of making a team i do have videos um, that i can recommend about that um, check my channel for those kind of things um, and for the most part it is just going to be a case of like make sure that your weapons are doing things because the the, um, the mistake that most new players will make is they will put a weapon on an animal that does actually nothing um, and of course if your weapon is doing nothing then you're worse off than you were before um, make sure that your weapons are doing something uh, but as long as your weapons are all doing something then you're actually fine you just need to get some more levels and then if you do want to be super optimal um, I would highly recommend joining the server and checking Mirbot out, as well as all the other bots that they have here. Um, now I'm sure they have plenty of other helper bots. Mirbot is just the main focus of this video. Um, and then, of course, there's there's the people here themselves as well. They can give you some great help. Um, I would like to think that I can give you some help with your team if you want help with your team. Like I said, I've got videos about that. Um, but if you really want to like min-max it, go all the way and go for the, the streak leaderboard, these are your guys. Um, um, but anyway, I will be uh, leaving this video here. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoy making your fancy teams. Bye!